summer is all about grilling and we are making burgers. Not just any burgers. We are doing a Midwest versus Midwest burger showdown, pitting Minnesota's Juicy Lucy against Wisconsin's Butter Burger on a quest to find the best burger. Both states can agree when you are grilling, you need to open a beer. Although if you're in Wisconsin, there's no way in hell that they're gonna have 3-2 beer. So we're making two kinds of burgers. We're making the Juicy Lucy from Minnesota, which is a burger stuffed with cheese on the inside, and Wisconsin's Butter Burger, which is a burger topped with butter. We're gonna use the same beef mixture for both burgers. We're not doing anything fancy, no Worcestershire, no Lowry's even. We're just doing a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. And just mix it in with your hands. I should probably wash my hands before drinking my beer. We're gonna start with making the Juicy Lucy. Now some say Juicy Lucy was invented at Matt's Bar, which is a dive bar in South Minneapolis. Legend has it that a customer came in, asked for a burger with two patties with the cheese sealed in between. When he took a bite and the molten cheese came flowing out, he said, that's one juicy Lucy, which I don't know if he talked like that, but that's how I imagine it. Although, seeing as he was in Minnesota, he probably said it more like, oh yeah, that's one Juicy Lucy dare. If you go 23 blocks farther south, the 5-8 Club also claims to have invented the Juicy Lucy. You can still get a Juicy Lucy at Matt's and the 5-8 Club. Right, let's start with the Juicy Lucy. Take about half a pound of ground beef. You want two really thin patties. Take your cheese, and we're just doing a couple slices of Kraft American Singles. But the Juicy Lucy is a little trickier than the Butter Burger because you gotta make sure that your cheese is very well sealed in there. You don't want your cheese oozing out while you're cooking it. Now for Wisconsin's Butter Burger. It has an even older history. Just like the Juicy Lucy, you got two restaurants that claim to be the like big spreaders of the Butter Burger. Solly's in Milwaukee and Kroll's in Green Bay. But what really spread the Butter Burger to America was 100 years later in the 1980s when Craig Culver created Culver's. Became the Butter Burger ambassador to the world. Now onto your Butter Burger, which is not that hard because you're basically just making a burger patty and the butter comes later. The grill is hot. Let's put our burger on the grill, throw the Juicy Lucy on, and our butter burger. A little more salt, a little more pepper. So I'm debating whether to put butter and cheese on the burger or just butter. If you are actually ordering a butter burger in Wisconsin, there is a 99.9% .9 chance that you are having butter and cheese on the burger. And also probably taking a nap for six hours after you eat this thing. I think I might just do butter on the butter burger. You really would have thought that Wisconsin would be the ones to invent the Juicy Lucy. Cause like if any state's gonna figure out new things to do with cheese, you think it'd be Wisconsin. But really, who's the cheese head now? It could be that Wisconsin is trying to just figure out more ways to infuse dairy into all of their products. Should I bite into it first? Pro tip, you should always let your Juicy Lucy cool just slightly so you don't get hit with molten cheese burning the roof of your mouth. Let's try the butter burger. It tastes like butter. To be honest, I don't even like butter that much. Like I don't usually butter my bread, but the way the burger meat and the butter does go together. Now, the Juicy Lucy. It does look really good in the way the cheese just like squirts out. I kind of hate to say this, but the concept of the Juicy Lucy is genius. You always have melted cheese. You don't have to deal with cold cheese on top of your burger. But I think the reality of it, it's almost too much of a good thing. I like cheese. And I like that it's, you know, melted inside the burger, but you don't always get the same surface area cover that you get with the cheese on top. But I think I gotta give it to, as much as it hurts me to say, the butter burger. The better brand of butter makes the butter burger better, really. That's hard, because I really wanted the Juicy Lucy to win. I kind of hate to give it to the butter burger, but I think there's a reason that we franchise butter burgers and not Juicy Lucy's. I think the butter burger is the better burger. And that was the burger border battle. So you win this time, Wisconsin, and I think I need another beer. Yeah, I'll take another.